Hey everyone, this week I've got a tip for those of you who have assets that have gone missing. Maybe you've moved your documents, maybe you've misplaced your assets, maybe your assets have been deleted by accident, uh, maybe you think it's not your fault and it's the computer's fault. Uh, no matter how you look at it, it, it is your fault, but that's okay because we're going to look at how to make it right. So if you ever open up Muse to find this message saying that links to assets are missing, uh, you may also not get that message. You may find that on your assets panel, you just have these little red circles with question marks. And in either case, these assets are missing. These assets cannot be found by Adobe Muse. Now, if they are somewhere else on your computer, you can just do a right click or a two finger click if you're on a MacBook Pro and uh, you can relink these assets. But if they've gone missing, if you can't find them for the life of you, there is a trick and it's a very, very simple trick for getting your assets back. Now, if you had an image that was of a very high resolution and you need that image in its full resolution again, then you're out of luck unless you can go find the original file. But if you just need what you see in your document, say it's an icon or something like that, uh, we can go to File. We can choose Export as HTML. You can decide on a folder to put this in. I'm just going to name it www test.com. This part doesn't actually matter for recovering assets, so you can put whatever you want for site URL. And I'm just going to put mine in this folder here called Muse Export in my documents. And when I click OK, it begins creating my entire website on my hard drive, and it brings it up for me to preview it. I'm actually going to close that. I'm going to open up my Finder so I can browse for the folder that I exported to. And now here is Muse Export, and here's the folder. Now, the beautiful thing about Muse, which can also be a bad thing, and I'm going to talk about this more in a moment, uh, it automatically consolidates all of our graphic assets into this Images folder. And when I go into the Images folder, there is everything I need. My PNGs are still PNGs, my SVG files are still SVG files, and everything is at the resolution that it was in my original Muse file. Now, if you're designing your website for retina displays at high DPI, you're going to be better off because all of your assets are going to be twice as big. If you're designing at standard resolution, then you're going to have a tough time if you decide to make something bigger and you don't have the original asset. But this is a great way to get yourself out of trouble. We've now got our assets and we can go and relink these. We can even go into Muse and relink straight from the assets panel to this folder. Now you may want to take this opportunity to get more organized with your assets and uh, with that I have a, a small word of warning for you guys. Um, when it comes to assets and when it comes to the fact that these get consolidated into the same folder, um, as of this version, and this may change in the future so don't hold me to it forever, but as of this version if you have two assets in Muse, let's say on two different pages, let's say you have a Facebook icon on your contact page and then you have a Facebook icon in the footer of every page. If they're both called facebook.png for example, then you're going to have a naming conflict when you export your web page. So for those of you who have created a web page, published a web page, or even just previewed a web page and found that certain assets go missing or that certain assets don't look right, it's probably because they had the same file name. They can't have the same file name. You don't want that. So give everything a unique file name. Just remember that. And it'll be easier to find if you have to go and do this. Because uh, as you can see, a lot of my icons are white, and white on white is not so easy to read. So some of these things might look familiar to you. This is the new stuff from museresources.com. So if you guys haven't downloaded that new stuff, go to museresources.com, go to the library widgets, and uh, you'll find the rollover transitioner and a whole bunch of new buttons. That's the document that I'm looking at right now uh, with these assets, the little icons that go in these buttons. Plus, you can go grab yourself an icon mega pack to go along and create your own buttons. So hopefully this is helpful. It works with photographs. It works with SVGs. Um, those SVGs are included with the Icon Mega Pack Vector Edition, so you don't really have to worry about whether or not it's the full resolution, low resolution, high resolution. They're resolution independent, so SVG files are great, and it's super cool that they are recoverable using this trick to get your assets back if they get lost. So hopefully you guys like this tutorial. Hopefully it <laughs> saves you some trouble. I know it's not the coolest and most fun and innovative tutorial this time, but uh, if it keeps you out of trouble or gets you out of trouble, then it's well worth it. So please subscribe if you haven't already and head over to museresources.com and download a bunch of free stuff. Speaking of creating and organizing assets, as a side note, for those of you who are using Sketch as part of your workflow, head over to LearnSketch.com and pop your email address in to sign up for 50% off the complete course on Sketch that I'll be launching very soon on Udemy. 
You'll learn Sketch 3 from A to Z, and for those of you who are already relatively familiar with Sketch, you're going to learn a whole lot more and get some tips and tricks that will really speed up your workflow for web design. Whether you're using it for Muse or you're using it for app design, I guarantee you'll benefit from this course. So head over to LearnSketch.com and get your email address in there if you're a Sketch user. If you're not a Sketch user, you might want to check it out anyways, see if Sketch is something that could work for you.